Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today I want to do a video about two things. One is this pretty cool um, whetstone that I picked up at an old antique store. I got it for $80. Um, I talked them down from $100. Pretty sweet. Uh, I think I got a good deal on that. Um, and the other thing I want to talk about is the idea of doing things that aren't ideal. Um, this is a common theme on a lot of my, my videos, that uh, waiting for everything to be perfect is sort of the antithesis. Should I cut the video because there's an airplane flying overhead and my audio is probably not good? Or would that go against the whole thing I'm talking about right now about everything doesn't always have to be perfect? I think I'll keep rolling with it. Uh, and what I, what I mean by that is I, I bought this thing and it's missing some parts, most notably a handle. Um, it's just got a bar going through. Um, a lot of these will have a foot pedal that you use to operate it or there'll be a handle here. I don't have any of that stuff. Um, I might add it at some point, but that doesn't mean that this thing's not completely useful in the meantime. I just set it up here this morning uh, underneath my, uh, the overhang of my woodshed. Uh, it'll keep it kind of out of the elements a little bit. I got a lid, uh, a cover for it also. Um, but uh, what, what's also nice is that I was able to mount this little uh, uh, arm here uh, uh, with a pot. And this is the first time I'm going to try it out. So I'm using the, my, my boy's little boat here. Again, I don't have an official whetstone watering can filling device. I'm just making it work. That's what I got. So I'll get some water there. It's dripping out of the bottom here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to operate it like this. Just get it going, get a lot of momentum going. And there's one stroke. Get it going again. I'd love to have a handle here, but what I love even more is to be able to use it before I have a handle. That's a nice edge. This is a great little machete. Um, it's a, I, guess, I forget the, what it's called. It's a, a Nepalese design from Nepal. Uh, but really, really rugged. I've had a lot of really crappy machetes, and this is not a crappy machete. That works all right, all right. And you can see, I don't have a handle. You know, it's not ideal, but it's getting sharp. And I think that's really important, uh, especially during SHTF situations, because the whole idea of it is that things are not going to be ideal. I don't have all the parts here. It's not 100% it's not perfect, but I'm able to sharpen. And there's lots of other ways you can sharpen this too that are even more rudimentary. But this way is pretty cool. So there you go. It's sharpened. It might have taken me a little bit longer. It might have been a little more awkward. I'm sure it was a little more awkward than if I had had a handle and especially have a, ha a handle with somebody to turn it for me. But I got it done. Uh, and I'm comfortable with that. Things not being perfect and, 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 and making do with them. I think that's an important idea uh, to, to not worry whether or not you have exactly the perfect gear. Uh, there are far more perfect sharpening methods than, than what I have here. But the blade's sharp. I got it done. Um, uh, and I think that extends into all sorts of things. Uh, you know, there, there was a video that I did recently about sewing, and I, uh, somebody, I guess, kind of trolled me, like was like heckling my sewing method. And uh, I don't know. I, my, my stitching never falls out. Maybe there's a more per perfect way of doing stitching. Um, I'm totally open to that possibility. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with the idea that you know, not, everything I need to, not everything that I do has to be perfect all the time. Uh, there's a, there's a, a, a region that I feel comfortable in that is perfectly good enough. And could, can you get better beyond that? And should we always try and strive to get better in things? Yeah, but I, I think it's also important to not get uh, uh, crippled or handicapped by uh, you know, worrying too much about like, well, I, I, I can't learn to sharpen blades until I have the, the perfect equipment to do that. Or I can't learn to start fires unless I have the perfect skill set. Or what's the best way to start a fire in the wilderness or uh, all that kind of stuff. So what do you think? Uh, is that uh, settling? Uh, you know, taking, you know, junk and things like that and, and, and trying to do the best you can with it and, and not worrying whether or not everything is the best that it could possibly be? Or, uh, or is that a... Uh, 
or is that an asset in, in what are sure to be imperfect times uh, to be comfortable using crap like this that's missing all its pieces but still getting the job done? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, don't troll me though. That's not cool, dude. You know, I'm out here making videos, taking my personal time. So, you know, if you want to troll me, make a video and troll me because then it's like you're putting in some effort. There you go. That's that I've, I've set the bar higher, you know. <laughs> Thank you for watching.